Let's look at the um, South Australian election. Today, the new Premier sworn in and the Prime Minister, in his response, trying to put a, a bit of distance, not just between Malinowskis and Mr Albanese, but all the Premiers. Indeed, political fallout is still occurring from the weekend South Australian election. Scott Morrison, after saying that a vote for Anthony Albanese was not a vote for Mark McGowan during his visit to Perth last week, was saying yesterday at a press conference at Kirribilli House that people needed to remember that the Federal Labor leader, Anthony Albanese, was not Peter Malinowskis either, nor even Anastasia Palaszczuk. Anthony Albanese is not Peter Malinowskis. He's, he's not... Um, any of the other premiers. He's not Anastasia Palaszczuk. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's none of these other premiers. Um, he's the federal Labor leader. And one thing that I've noticed is there is a big difference between Anthony Albanese as the federal Labor leader and what we see um, in the performance of some of his state colleagues. Well, that was timely because the PM was in Brisbane this morning to announce the city deal up there with the Queensland Premier, with the Queensland Premier saying, steady on when asked if relationships had healed between the two this morning. Anastasia, it's just so nice to see you and ScoMo getting on so well yeah. at the moment. It's lovely. <laughs> oh, hang on, don't push it. Don't, don't push your luck there. I'm told Liberal Party focus group research in New South Wales says that in the wake of the Omicron summer, where voters previously were against picking a fight with the Feds, against squabbling governments, they are suddenly supporting taking the fight up. One of the observations I made on Saturday night during our South Australian election coverage is perhaps Stephen Marshall did not pick enough fights with the Feds, was not seen to stand up enough for his state in these COVID times. It was noticeable that the new Premier, Peter Malinowskis, said in the wake of his win on Saturday night that he was prepared to fight for his state. I look forward um, to uh, performing my responsibilities around the national table, table with with vigour and passion. I'll be standing up for our state's interests. I'm going to be Scott Morrison's quokka. I'll, I'll be doing everything I can to, to represent this, the interests of the people of South Australia. And that will mean working collaboratively with the government at times. But if I think the Commonwealth isn't doing something right by the people of our state, then, then I won't be afraid by saying it. Liberal sources also telling me that the party federally is clearly facing some of the problems Labor faced at the last election are being wedged by both sides of the political spectrum. The PM then may decide, I'm told, it's better to risk losing inner city seats and perhaps losing the likes of Dave Sharma in Wentworth and Trent Zimmerman in North Sydney to independents rather than lose outer suburban seats to Labor, Kieran. I'm, I'm sure uh, Mr Sharma and Mr Zimmerman will be uh, delighted to hear that. Now, 